Hey, what's good, people? It's your boy Main VR here, bringing you another video. Where I'm just gonna talk about a few things about what happened last week, at GDC. All right. So, here are the highlights and the major news of of last week. First is that HTC Vive went down in price. It took a price cut. So they went from 600 down to 100 to 500 dollars, which it's good, you know. I mean, I think they should have came down to four, make it equivalent with the Oculus. But for some reason, HTC feels that they are a premier headset, and so that requires them you pay more money for it, All right? So whether you agree with them or not, you know, is needed to be seen. But lately, you know, HTC Oculus has been able to catch up back to HTC. And in some cases, surpass HTC as the leading HMD. Also, big news, the Pro comes out in April. It actually looks like it's going to start shipping on April 5th. The HMD only, and it's going to cost $800, all right? Uh, which has gotten a lot of people highly upset. And rightfully so. You know, a lot of you guys paid $800 for the first HTC and it came along with the light you know I mean what is it those things are called the, um oh man I can't oh the light towers or laser towers or whatever the hell those things are that um you know as you can tell I'm a, I'm a Oculus owner so I don't really sometimes some of these things escape me and no controllers either so it doesn't have the thing to um so it's just the HMD with no way of tracking it and so you pretty much have no choice but to already be a Vibe owner in order to buy this. And if you're a Vibe owner, when you buy this, you can't resell your Vibe because you need the light towers in order to be able to use the Pro. So this makes absolutely no sense to me. I think it should have been $800 including everything, you know. Uh, it does have a higher um, pixel count. Right, so it's um, 1600 by 1440 each eye, you know, so that does put it up at a higher um, resolution. But is it really worth it, you know, just for the HMD for you know $800? Once again, that's up to you, people. Now, Oculus Go, which is you know, Oculus is all in one standalone HMD. All right, uh, so that one is going to be coming out in roughly around May, approximately May, and it's going to be two hundred dollars. And it's supposed to. Uh, there's rumors of multiple SKUs of it, so two hundred dollars would be the low end one. All right, and and actually, um, I won't say I'm excited for this, but I'm looking forward to it, and I'm probably going to get one just to kind of see what it's like and and do a couple reviews on it. And I probably get one to for my girlfriend so she can try it out, and and trying to use that as a way of edging her into VR and everything like that. Now, the crazy thing about this all is, you know, because of the fact that Oculus showed off the Go and announced, you know what I mean, and then also showed off Santa Cruz, people are trying to worry like, hey, um, they haven't announced any new HMD as in to replace the riff right so people look at vibe and they're just announcing a new headset like a pro they're looking like so where's oculus's pro i don't see this as a big deal i don't see this as a way of something bad on oculus part right uh i think um most people are constantly looking for more hardware but i think putting out more hardware as in cannibalizing the riff i don't think is a smart thing right now you know the oculus trying to use this as as a console you know what i mean they look at it as in terms of a console and not just a, a yearly peripheral and i think that's the right way to do it so they're spending money more so on getting more games and software content made for their rift rather than you know looking to launch a new rift this year now there's some rumors that they'll probably launch a new rift next year in, in um 2019 i'm thinking it would be smarter to go back even further and make it 20 
20 because by that time the software will be in full swing right because there's a couple big titles that doesn't even come out till next year like the one that's coming from respawn so i think that is a very smart thing on oculus's part in order to do i don't think they should be looking at a way to kind of rush out something and everything like that now htc is in a different predicament than oculus themselves because htc doesn't have any software as much as oculus has the software you know htc is trying to have their storefront which is vive port um i actually hope that takes off more for them and then maybe they should start doing some exclusive on there to get more people over to there because most people that owns a Vive are not buying the games from Vive Port, which is putting a lot of pressure on Vive, as to say, because of the fact that they have to keep their hardware costs so high because they have to make money. And if we want to see the cost of the Vive coming down and even the cost of the Pro coming down, HTC has to figure out a way to get more people over onto, you know, Vive Port in order so they can make money off the software being sold on for their headset. And now, I guess mainly because of the fact that their headset is using technology coming from Valve, it, they're kind of at a disadvantage with that because most of the big games and titles are always going to go onto Steam, and because of that. All the gamers are going to buy their game from Steam. Is where they're used to. Is what they they know. And then some of the exclusive that Vive has gotten onto their Vive thing, it's nothing really major. It's just stuff like, you know, the Ready Player One um, experiences, which are not full games that are over on uh, Valve Port. It, it's just it kind of sucks to be in their shoes. Now. One of the games that was released last week, which is Ark, what is that, Park? Now, why they decided to do this game, and it's not getting good reviews at all. I'm not going to spend my money on, on this game because it was just completely a money grab. It, from the reviews, it doesn't sound like they put a lot of thought and effort into this creating of this game. And not so much the people that actually like work and did the coding, but the company itself, it didn't seem like they spent enough time to really build out something that could have been very impressive. I personally think that they should have just took that team that worked on Ark Park and moved them over onto Ark Survival Evolve and have them port that game over into VR adding some motion controllers and giving a good rendering system that could have been a phenomenal game all right people so i'm going to call it a day right here hopefully you know you guys go ahead and comment below tell me what you think about the price with the vibe if you're looking out to get one or if you're going to go ahead and grab yourself the pro or even if you plan on getting an oculus go like i said i plan to get one probably end up with two of them um so go down down and hit that subscribe button below hit that thumbs up or even that thumbs down just to let me know what you guys think of this and i would like to hear some of your comments because i would want to figure out how to start making better content for you guys and getting you the subject matter that really matters so we can grow this page all right so to all my other cd gamers out there keep plugging away keep doing your thing all right and look forward to the next video next week all right one people.